What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of nothing, of just another FIFA 19 video. Um, I was looking through the live content, uh, Havertz is still there, obviously he has a team of the season now so kind of irrelevant. Uh, the lone Van Persie is there because I did the other Van Persie, he's still there for another day. Jonathan Tarr is there for three days and based on our chat yesterday about Jonathan Tarr, I was... Like, I wanted to see his price, really. This is an exceptional value for money card. Like, I literally mean exceptional. And the reason why is because it's 220k for a 91 rated team of the season that is extremely usable and you get three packs back. So we are going to complete him today uh, and get the packs and get this card. And, and with just how stupid the price is right now of team of the season... This card being 220k plus packs back, honestly, I find it to be an, a remarkable value for coin card. I really do. You know, he's nice and tall at 6'4". He's got four-star weak foot. He's just got really good stats outside of that as well. I think he's a great card. Um, I was hoping for some upgrade packs today. I wasn't expecting them. I was just hoping for them. And uh, I got to this point. I was like, oh, there's no live content. There is some, well, a piece of live content. And it is Flashback Thomas Muller. Now, Thomas Muller's a weird card because he's got a lot of things right about him. 6-1, high-high, four-star weak foot, brilliant. And his in-game stats are brilliant. And this card is brilliant. I don't, I don't even know what to say. This card's just brilliant. For, for crossing meta, he's, he's your guy. 6-1 with 96 jumping and 90 heading, 99 stamina. Good strength and aggression combination off the bat. His dribbling is absolutely mental, except for his dribbling stat. And then his agility and balance for a 6'1 six, six guy is very good. His crossing, his vision, his passing, his curve, phenomenal. His shooting is brilliant. His pace is good. This is a quality card. The only thing that I'm concerned is if EA have made it very expensive. An 86, an 86, and an 85. And for that reason, I am out. Um... That's really expensive, really. Like, compared to Tar being not so expensive, let me go and have a look at the icons. Uh, so we've got an 86 rated with a Team of the Week player. Um, that is going to come in at about 180,000 coins. An 86 rated with two Team of the Week players. That's going to come in at about 200 to 210,000 coins. So that's already 400k. And then an 85 rated squad with two, two Team of the Week players. That's 130k. So it's it's we're going to be looking at 450 maybe 500,000 coins for this card. No thank you. Not for me. Like yes it's a good card. Yes it's a, a usable card. He fits any kind of meta that you want to play with. Um he only has three star skill moves so that's a bit of an issue. He doesn't have lacroquetas available to him so maybe that is a one downside. He's got good work rates, nice and tall but for 500,000 coins give or take just not for me. Prime gold players pack, rare gold players pack and mega pack it's just not worth it man. I don't know what do you guys think? I personally can't can't put my money into that uh, especially when I look at you know Jonathan Tarr and 91 rated yeah it's a center back it's a bit different right you can't really I only really say it's the same, um, but it's 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 similar, isn't it? Let's get ourselves this Jonathan Tarr done. But let me know uh, we'll, whilst we do Jonathan Tarr, we'll wait for the price to come in of um, of uh, Muller, and then let me know what you guys think in the comment section below as to whether or not you think it's a good um, a good deal or not. It'd be interesting to see your guys' thoughts. So we're going to pop in James Rodriguez. A whole bunch of the 85s. It needs to be an 85 rated squad. So we've got a lot of 85s and then a lot of 84s and a lot of 83s. We're going to be just fine doing this squad right here. Uh, especially with the low rated uh, inform as well. Prime goal players pack for this 85 rated squad as well. If I remember correctly, the packs aren't too bad on this. The pack for the Havertz packs are pretty good as well, aren't they? Uh, Robin can go in. What do we need here? It's only 70 chemistry. It's not too bad. Um, Werner can go in. Boom. I think we're going to be well over the rating as well. Um, quite probably. Jonathan Tarr can go in. That's 83. Mario Goetze makes 84. Frank Ibarri keeps 84. That's interesting. I'm going to need a smaller, smaller upgrade. Another one of the 83s. We've got an untradeable 83 floating around. Uh, but yeah, so how are you guys enjoying Team of the Season so far? 
Do you think the prices are too expensive? I think the prices are too expensive. I think the prices are way too expensive, actually. I think the pack weight, the drop rate of Team of the Seasons has been diabolical, not, not even close to being worth it. Um, and that sucks. And just in general, I, I find it to be ju just... Yeah, it's just too hard, isn't it? Look at that. That's all we needed to do there. So that's the first one done. Obviously, this is for Jonathan Tarr. That's the easiest one done as well. Let's uh, let's open the packs as we go. I've got some FIFA points too, so I will... Um, I will go and open some of those promo packs towards the back end of the video as well. But uh, I was hoping for some upgrade packs just to be able to give some some fun content. You know, building 20 or 50 or 100 of a specific upgrade pack. Usually we don't get them till Sundays anyway, which I understand fully. But it would have been really nice if, if we had managed to get some, you know, now. Let me go to my trade pile though, because I'm going to be able to pick up some of those guys that I just uh used and get those back in oh that an 84 is townsend let's send him to the club i can use him if we need another inform oh let me use 88 felipe luis as well i forgot i had him we're going to use him i've i just want to get rid of him you know i really just want to get rid of him i've got a lot of godines not the best place to use him mind you um uh, what else have we got here that we just used so we've got a thomas muller and we've got another one on there as well so we can reuse him and edison we can reuse Chesney, no. Yep, Chesney we can use. Look, all these players have just got chilling on my trade pile. Goretzka we just used as well. Um, what about a Verratti? Verratti we can throw in. Happy days. And Ozil, no, we haven't. Carver Howe we can throw in. Brilliant. Fekir, I think we already have into club. Um, Witzel we just used. Let's try Koke and Felipe Luis as well. They all went very nice indeed. Sommer we just used. And how about that, guys? I actually had a whole bunch of players there that I was able to uh, rekindle. Let's throw all of these in. And then if they drop, they drop. And if they don't, they don't. But we we now be able to go and build the 85. Especially with me using that Felipe Luis. He's been sat on my trade pile. The trade pile duplication glitch doesn't work anymore either. So he's been sat on my trade pile for so long. Do you remember when we packed him? Ages ago. So we'll use that uh, untradeable duplicate Felipe Luis 88. And that's just going to allow us to go really soft on this. We need two informs, funnily enough. And an 84 rated squad. So let's go to the Premier League, I suppose. Because we have got Townsend in form available. Um, so Townsend can go in there. We've got a lot of good cards here as well. And we don't even really need to touch 85s. 84s and 83 should be enough from here. Uh, with that Felipe Luis. I'm just going to need one more in form. That's already an 83 rated squad. Pop him down there, pop him down there, swap those two around, 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 and pop him up there. So we need one Bundesliga player and one team of the week. So we'll go and get that left mid uh, Kalu that we just popped back into the club. There, and is that enough? Yes, it is. Perfect. Two chemistry, perfect rating. That Felipe Luis is now gone and useless. We get a rare Electrum players pack for completing this one. We get no walkout. We do get boards. Brazil. Left mid. Hey, we get Felipe Anderson back. We just used him and now we get to take him back. And then the last squad, isn't it an 83 raid squad for the last squad? Pretty sure it is. Um, nothing too amazing there. I wish there was an easier way to tell who you have from your trade pile and who you don't. You know what I mean? I, I want to be able to go and do that. But yeah, an 83 raid squad with two team of the weeks. So we'll go to like the Spanish league. And we'll just pop in a couple of the 84s, a couple of low-rated informs, and, and go from there, really. I know I've got a couple of really low-rated informs from the Spanish League. Uh, Joaquin and Braithwaite can go in. And then it's just 83s and 82s from this point onwards. Uh, I don't mind using the odd extra 84, but I don't even think we need to. We already have one 84 in there. So from this point, I think I could just get away with 82s. Boom, boom, and boom. Oh, I need one Leverkusen player. Okay, let's go and let's put this team together first. And then we're going to get the Leverkusen player. Boom. Pop him up there. Uh, pop him up there. And then let's just go and get ourselves that Leverkusen player. I'm sure they have a couple of players uh, that are 82 rated, don't they? Yeah. A couple of 81s as well. Let's see what we can get away with here. So an 81 for an 83. Doesn't work. An 82 for an 83. Doesn't work. So let's go and get uh, one more... 83 rated for an 82 here. That works. There we go. We just need some chemistry on this one. Um, 
It's got a few too many, uh, a few too many of the wrong places, haven't I? Do not have a centre back. Oh, it's Bartra. It's an eighty-two. Let me put Bartra in there. In there. That's still only seventy-eight chemistry. Is there an obvious that I'm missing here? I think there is, isn't there? Let's go back to La Liga and see. I think I've got some untradeable La Ligas that I can get. We can throw one of them in here. Um, right, Savage, perfect. Literally perfect. Pop him in there, boom. Chemistry, rating, everything done. I know it's not Thomas Muller, and that's kind of who was released today. Uh, I know it's Jonathan Tarr. I just think, as I said, I just think it's going to be a, a super important card in the long term. Nice and cheap to craft. Some decent packs in return. A usable player. So Muller is coming in at 28 million coins. No, <laughs> they, it's updated. So yeah, Muller's coming in at 550,000 coins. 200k for the first segment. 210k for the second segment. And 140k for the third segment. And for me, that is just way too expensive. Especially considering you only get a 50k pack, a 45k pack and a mega pack it's just not good enough the card is good it's not 500 it's, it's 250 to 300 thousand coins good it's not 550 thousand coins good uh you know maybe some of you guys disagree maybe some of you guys think that that card is absolutely mental me personally not so much we're gonna get a walkout from jonathan tar we're gonna get a blue walkout from jonathan tar let's go Ah, oh, just kidding it's the goalkeeper Ah, I've only packed two blues since Bundesliga team of the season and Liga Nost team of the season came out in packs. And you can tell the fact that he's a duplicate that it's the goalkeeper twice. And I have opened a lot of special cards. He doesn't even sell for discard price for his lowest bin. Um, however, let's have a look at what we've got going on here. So there's... So, wow. They're not even expiring. There's still six and a half thousand 50k packs left. Let's go and go through these. We get ourselves a man of the match card. Um, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. They're not even expiring, guys. That's how bad pack weight is right now. And, and it's it's a vicious circle, right? Let me explain a little something to you. Den Donker is very expensive because he's very expensive. I know that doesn't make necessarily sense. For those of you who do the League SBC and you constantly come up with Wolves and you're like, wow, Den Donker's like 4K, 5K. The reason why he's so expensive is because people use him in the SBC, he's rare. And so because he's rare, he doesn't get packed often. And I don't have anything to back this up. This is just my theory, right? So when bronze players become super expensive, they become impossible to pack. For example, last year, uh, no, even this year for Black Friday, EA did an SBC that required the Lincoln bronze players because of the badge that they have, right? And I used to, pack, I, I would have 15 Lincoln, 18 Lincoln players just in my club because through bronze pack method, they were easy to pack. They were constantly pulled. No problem at all. As soon as you needed to pack them, you know, because people use them in the SBC, they went extinct. They went to 10K. They became unpackable. You were lucky to get a Lincoln player ever. As soon as that SBC ran out, Lincoln players were coming out thick and fast again. And I sat there and I used to think, wow, I wonder if EA like manipulate the player drop rate their end. I don't think they do it individually. I think it works off of an algorithm. And again, this is me just speculating. I have no proof behind this. This is just my theory, right? In in my my opinion, when a player's price changes drastically from going from 200 coins to say 10,000 coins, EA are like, oh, this player spiked a lot. He must be rare. His drop weight is less. And so when they're usable for an SBC specifically, they're continually dropped into the SBC. So they're continually rare. So the supply is lower. I think that's the problem with... Dendonka. So because he's used so much, there's so few of him on the market, the game's like, oh, this is a rare card. We're not going to drop him too much because it's rare. You know, their, their, their kind of algorithm is like, yeah, we're just not going to drop him too much. And so it keeps his price relatively high. Whereas if people just stopped doing the SBC, if people literally just stopped doing Wolves SBC for like a week between everybody, there would be so many of his card on the market. It would drive his price down to the point where the game would be like, oh, this card is very, very common. People don't need it. People don't use it. We'll drop it more. And I feel like that's the problem with Bundesliga Team of the Seasons. People didn't want to open packs for Bundesliga Team of the Season for whatever reason. And so because of that, they're not getting packed. And so because of that, they're super rare. 
And so because they're super rare, they're not getting dropped in packs, which is keeping their price high, which means people don't want to open packs for Bundesliga team in a season. And so what you're noticing is, like, we're not even getting bored here, mind. What you're noticing is, is that it's extremely difficult. What is that? That's outrageous, EA. People, people are finding it extremely difficult to pack Bundesliga team of the seasons because they're so rare, which is keeping them unpackable, which is making people not want to open packs, which is making them even rarer, which is keeping their price really high. And EA need to do something to change that. That is nice. I wasn't expecting Sergio Ramos out of that. Still no blue other than the goalkeeper twice, but Sergio Ramos is a very decent pull indeed. Kepa the keeper in there as well. Um, but yeah, so that's that, that's my theory on pack weight. And as I say, I don't necessarily think EA sit there themselves like, he's now mad expensive. No, I think it all works off of like some global algorithm that kind of spots and sees the price is of players and how much they got dropped. And that's why when players... Like, for example, a Sergio Ramos that are worthless now or a David De Gea. They were worth so much throughout the course of the year, but eventually they get outgrown and then people start to dump them a lot. They start to sell them all. So loads are going onto the market. No one's buying. So the game's like, oh, this card's not worth as much as it was anymore. It gets dropped even more. Um, and they get, as I say, it's literally my opinion, my theory. There's no proof behind that. I can't, literally can't give any, you know, any extra or added context to back that up. It's just off of seeing how the market changes and reacts with cards throughout the course of uh, the year. What's crazy is these lightning rounds aren't really going very much. But I opened eight 100k packs earlier on stream. And I packed, I think, three walkouts, no blues. Um, we've opened all these 50k packs here. We're not even getting bored. I, I actually think we haven't got boards on about six of them. We've got one walkout. It was Ramos. We got one team of the season from Jonathan Tara SBC, but it was the worst goalkeeper. And as you can see, guys, it is just not worth a damn thing. Not a damn thing to uh, to open packs because the drop rate of blue cards is exceptionally low. And uh, that, guys, is my last pack as well. So this is going to be the end of the video from me. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.